Welcome to the Anxiety Slayer series. Our mission is to assist you with creating more peace and tranquility in your life through anxiety release exercises and supportive tools created to slay your anxiety. Today's Anxiety Slayer podcast is brought to you by the Anxiety Slayer Academy. We've been offering a free podcast for almost seven years now to help anyone suffering with anxiety find relief. Now we want to help you go deeper by providing step-by-step support on how you can get the best experience from our favorite tools and techniques for overcoming anxiety. Learn more about the Anxiety Slayer Academy at anxietyslayer.com forward slash support. Welcome back to Anxiety Slayer. I'm Shan Vanderleek here with my partner and wonderful friend, Ananga Sevier. I think it's a good time for us to talk about this time of year and the changing seasons for those of us who do experience that and some of the uh, tips and tools and resources that we can share uh, for self-care this time of year. Yeah, autumn is a very important season for anyone who suffers with challenges with their nervous system in any way, be it full brain anxiety or slight nervousness or even just, you know, accumulative stress. Autumn's a really challenging season. It's one to watch out for. And the reason for that is that as we've discussed previously, when we've touched on Ayurveda, India's ancient healing science, and if if new listeners haven't heard us talk about that yet, then please have a browse around the Anxiety Slayer site and you'll find lots of introductory information. But basically, Ayurveda teaches us that like increases like. The same thing increases the same thing within us. So we are little uh, micro representations of the energy of the universe around us, the world around us, our surroundings. And we're made up of these building blocks of air, water, fire, earth, ether. And the people that are most likely to suffer from stress and anxiety, those that are a little bit more prone to it, are the beautiful, creative, airy types. And Ayurveda calls those vata types. And autumn is the vata season. So if you look at autumn around you now, for those of us who live in countries where we're going into autumn or fall, as you look around you, you see the leaves beginning to dry, fall from the trees. You can feel that the air is becoming crisper and cooler. The air starts moving around a bit more. Typically in a, in a traditional autumn season, it becomes windier, breezier. So those things are very similar to what's going on in the vata type body, that airy personality of the lovely, sensitive, creative vata type. They have within them movement, like the movement of the wind. They have dryness within them. They have lightness within them. They have change within them. Those are the properties of vata that are are there in that body type. So when the autumn kicks in, it increases that within us. Like many people will notice Autumn's here because their hands become more dry or their lips become more chapped and they've been okay all summer. And then all of a sudden, you notice your skin becomes more dry. You might feel more thirsty or you start to feel more sensitive to drafts and cool breezes around you. It's a really good time to wrap up and keep warm. So anyone who suffers from anxiety and notices that things get worse in the autumn can take heart that there's a reason for that. Autumn is a challenging season for anxiety sufferers. But there's plenty you can do to protect yourself. And the whole thing with Ayurveda and this science of living a long, healthy, happy life is to know how to dance with the changes. Mm -hmm. Well said. I know this time of year, I like to bring in more warm drinks and make sure that my feet are nice and warm. That, you know, going from barefoot to making sure that that I have socks or slippers Mm -hmm. or an extra throw. And it's a little bit difficult to not turn the shower on really, really hot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, working on, I'm working on that. <laughs> <laughs> and making sure to use sesame oil and the things that we've talked about before to really take care of that dryness and to protect our nervous system. And it's been such a helpful ritual. And I don't do it every day, but to cover my body in sesame oil and then take a warm shower and mm. then... And especially in the evening, you know, bundle up and really nurture myself this time of year. Yeah, really, Um, really important. I think so. You know, and the other part of this too is with so much change going on all around us in the universe, 
to be really mindful of the importance of quiet time. Mm -hmm. Really allowing for rich and meaningful alone time is important this time of year. Definitely. It really is. And that's another beautiful aspect of Vata because people talk about these body types and these energy types that we see around us in the changing seasons. It's in everything, this Ayurvedic wisdom of the elements in the tastes in our food. But we tend to look at things when there's a problem. So people very readily identify with the problems of Vata that they can be a little antsy, nervous, prone to anxiety, prone to dry skin, cracking joints, dry hair all kinds of different things like that, aches and pains, random pains, moving pains. Those are the challenges of Vata. But the beautiful side of Vata is Vata's creativity and wisdom and humor. Vata types are very, very funny. They're really great people to be with. When they're balanced, they're extremely entertaining, wonderful company. And also Vata has within it wisdom. Renunciation. Vata types can be very good at switching off from materialism and really going within and being quite contemplative. And that autumn season, when we see the leaves falling from the trees, everything gets stripped back and everything goes into kind of this quietness that comes with winter when everything slows down. And Vata's a preparation for that. So it's a great time to be still. It's a great time to meditate. When the sun isn't around outside as much as we like, then bring a little sun inside with a candle. You know, you've still got that energy Mm -hmm. of the sun, a mini sun, and sit and meditate on that and just be still and bring the warmth into your life that way. Do some inspirational reading, some meditation, perhaps find a mantra that you like to chant out loud or in your mind and just ground yourself with a healthy, supportive routine. And then autumn becomes an amazingly contemplative experience rather than a a stressful, challenging one where we feel that we're being affected by the season when we learn to move and flow with the season then it's it's a very wonderful time for really digging in and looking after yourself. Anxiety Slayer has been offering a free podcast for more than six years. Now we want to help you go deeper by providing step-by-step support on getting the best experience from our favorite tools and techniques for overcoming anxiety. Are you ready to take action against your anxiety? Enroll in the Anxiety Slayer Academy now and you can get started today. Visit anxietyslayer.com forward slash support.